why do they call them leaves when they just got here? <laughs> what is the difference between God and bipolar? God doesn't think he's bipolar. <laughs> so I talk to myself. <clears throat> Thanks to everyone. We told us. Moving right along. <laughs> With bipolar, I live medication free. It shows. Alcohol free. But who would have thought it's the gluten free that people think is the crazy part? <laughs> What did the Canadian say to his alcoholic friend? Oh, you're an AA, <laughs> So, I am mainly vegan, fruititarian, and always exploiting myself again. I eat 30 bananas a day. The cashier at the store always says, hey, it's the banana man. And the other one says, oh God, time, time for my break. Because I gotta put 200 bananas up on that conveyor belt. <laughs> the dude on break over the intercom says, Now we'll then check out station number three sushi bar for monkeys. <laughs> Didn't anyone read in last year's article of the Independent Record that I hold Montana's only exotic animal license for my two chimpanzees? So thank you. <laughs> thank you for thinking at the grocery store this is the best lie I can tell people. <laughs> So, you ever go skiing by yourself? Feels like a dating option, right? You get to the lift line, all these dudes are shouting, Hey man, you single? Uh, of course I am. I have bipolar. <laughs> if only bipolar was a superpower, Mr. Kent, there's a mob of single women infiltrating the city. What should we do? Oh, have no fear, a very single bipolar is here. <laughs> on the chairlift, I have bipolar. Big mistake. He says, you don't look bipolar. <laughs> wow, prove me wrong, because you don't look like an idiot. <laughs> he then says, everyone has bipolar. Trump has the presidency. Does that mean everyone has small hands? <laughs> so I tell the dude, I don't think that's right, because mania gives me the unique and incredible ability to make things levitate. Second laugh. <laughs> so my favorite comment is, you know what your problem is? No, please be the one to tell me. Now this was actually a friend's mom, hopefully at the time on some of her own medicine. She says, your problem is that you focus on yourself too much. I own my own business and don't have time to not eat this or think about that like you do. Well that's okay, I tell her, because with bipolar it's great, you don't have to work. You'll lose your job right away. <laughs> so, so uh, I now lead my own uh, support group. <laughs> but uh, we specialize in walk uh, and talk therapy. We meet each night to walk around downtown at one in the morning, and so far the only member is me. <laughs> but I do see others out there leading their own groups. <laughs> People lock their doors at night, keep people out. Me, when I lock the doors at night, I'm trying to keep myself in. <laughs> now the worst, the first mania is always the worst. Rapid thought, erratic decision making. It was Christmas vacation at my girlfriend's parents' house. I woke up at 4 a.m. to clean. Didn't stop for five days. The frightened mom said to her daughter, whatever you do, don't break it off until my oven is clean. <laughs> Hey Dave, here's the credit card, go buy some more Brillo. <laughs> and people think we, uh, oh. People think we're unemployable, we work for free. <laughs> but the hospital bill is not free. But the most upsetting part is that the hospital um, is finding out that another person thinks they're Jesus too. I had to settle that one right away. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> you know bipolars at your dinner party? Oh, don't worry. I will tell you. <laughs> How does a Buddhist monk send a text? OMG. <laughs> My last psychiatrist, psychiatrist, 
just retired. Must be nice. I can't wait to retire from bipolar. That's right, I'll be dead. I tried out a new one. I was holding two prescriptions when he says, I knew you were manic the second you walked in the door. You were smiling. My patients don't smile. Well, folks, I'm still smiling. Thank you, and I will be up all night.